In this tutorial, we are going to create an action that will give us a soft, warm contrast that can be adjusted. So let's go ahead and create a new action. Down here, you click this. I'm going to keep it under the set easy workflow because I'm going to create a set of actions to share with my fellow photographers to make workflow easy. We're going to call this warm contrast. And then we're going to record it. This is such an easy thing to do. Um, there's so many ways to adjust contrast. When you click on this tab right here, it shows you you can adjust um, brightness and contrast right here. You can adjust contrast in curves by um, clicking on curves and then setting linear contrast or medium contrast or strong contrast. But this way of doing it is slightly different and I love the effect that it has. So we're going to go to photo filter and over here it gives you these choices of filters. We're not going to use one of those. We're going to go color. Then we're going to double click to adjust the color. We're going to make it a yellow. Now you can make it a warmer yellow or a richer or richer yellow, a lighter yellow, a more green tone yellow. We're going to go about right here, but we're also going to move it over here, make it a real nice light yellow. Now you can see right here, they've already created like a yellow haze over her. And that's lovely, and it's a, a lot of people like to edit with colors. They like a pink filter or a yellow filter, a little bit of a color to that. But that's not what we're doing here. We're going to go ahead and over here on how it um, how the layer is set, it's normal right now. But we are going to set it to overlay. Now you see how harsh that is right there? We're going to adjust the opacity. Right now it's at 100%. That's at zero. So we're going to bring it about where we want it, and about 20% looks just lovely. And so we're going to set it right there. Now, this will be adjustable when you run the action. So you can set it right there and then stop this action and that is good to go. Um, what I do like to do is rename this. You don't want photo filter one. You want to be soft yellow And the other thing you can do, um, you see this layer mask right here, when you're using this, you can take off some of the contrast. So let's go ahead and stop the action right now, because the action is beautiful as it is. And let's play with this for a minute. It's white, the action set up as it is, and our brush is white. So if we want to take some of it off, we want to hide it, we need to make our brush black. I'm going to make my brush a little bit smaller about 380 is good to show you. We'll change my opacity to about 75, but we'll take it off. We'll take take that filtering off of just her eyes so you can see the difference. There. You see the rest of the image? Her eyes stay the same. Now if we put it back on, you'll see the contrast. And there might be times where you're like, oh, it's the contrast is too much right there. You know, because contrast does tend to darken things, and maybe I want her eyes to look lighter. See, now it's back on. There's the filter, there's the uh, contrast filter, there's it off, on. So it just sharpens up the contrast. And don't forget to compress your layers before saving so you can save it as a JPEG. And to do that, just Control-Shift-E, compresses the layers, and it's ready to be saved.